Hey everybody, G4 Video 5 here, and welcome back to some more Grand Theft Auto Vice City, the Definitive Edition. In this part, we will be completing the mission Bar Brawl for the Versetti Estate. What's the problem? Some bars refusing to pay. They reckon they're protected by a local gang of thugs. But don't worry, Tommy, I can handle it. You call this handling it? You two, off your asses. Let's go. Get in the car, useless. You call this handling it? <laughs> I love that line so much. Oh man, but classic Tommy here, asserting his dominance and taking action, while Lance stays behind and drowns his sorrows, apparently. And uh, it's not a very good look for Lance, but the two henchmen that ended up following us, and oh, jeez, uh, someone got ran over there, but um, the two guys that followed us, you can just leave behind if you want to. You don't actually need to take them along on this journey. And man, another person getting run over. Yeah, I know that's a random occurrence in this game, but I, I wasn't expecting to see that back-to-back -back on street corners, but... Anyway, we're approaching the first group of security guards that we need to dispose of, and so we can simply just run them over to take care of them instead of attracting attention to ourselves even more than we already are by performing a drive-by. Your protection needs a little more protection. Ah, oh, hell, not again. I don't need this crap. These idiots operate out of DBP security around the block. You guys just sort it out amongst yourselves. I'll be seeing you later. Yeah, yeah, whatever. That's some nice price down font up there. <laughs> it looks so cheap, and then I love how on the sides of the umbrella it just says drink beer. You know, it's some great marketing there, but uh... <laughs> Uh, but anyway, down the street is a compound where we need to take care of some more security guards that are hanging out there. And uh, the way we're going to do this is by exploding a vehicle that's inside of the compound, because you don't have to enter it initially. You can just kind of stay back a little bit and use a free aim weapon, or really any weapon to be honest, and explode that vehicle to take care of most of the enemies. And then you can clean them up by using whatever weapon you want to take care of the remaining enemies. Now, from this point, uh, you know, we're going to steal a vehicle because for some reason our vehicle disappeared. I don't know why the game does that in certain moments. Maybe it's like a memory thing. I'm not too sure. But either way, the police were attracted to us, so there was a nice police car there. And then we have these two fiends escaping by motorbike. And we'll just perform drive-bys on them. It is fun crashing into them and seeing them, like, fly off. Like, you know, some pancakes you're just throwing against the wall or something. Um, but... Uh, you know, I'm not gonna do that because it can put them in awkward positions to then take care of them because there's like a lot of planners and stuff and geez look at that three cops just appearing at once like that um, <laughs> But if you ram into someone driving a bike and man they pop my tire But you know if you if you ran it ram into them then they can fly off and you know kind of put themselves in awkward positions to get to to finish them off and so it's probably best just performing a drive-by on these guys and you can see that they try making their way on over to this like lighthouse area which is a really nice area to be honest but yeah they didn't get too far there so yeah that takes care of this business we have going on here not half bad if i do say so myself they have some nice m4s that we picked up too from their dead carcasses and whoa that's a nice airplane shadow that just flew by. Uh, but anyway, we have a phone call that I'm going to cut ahead to. Tommy, we got to talk about stuff. What's the problem, Lance? It's you, my friend. I feel you're not giving me a fair slice. And more than that, you've been embarrassing me in front of the boys. I can't have that. Lance, it ain't like that. You've been making mistakes. Tommy, I'm not your message boy. I'm not your running boy. Lance, don't screw up and we won't have any problems. I screw up, you can lay into me anytime. Tommy, I've done everything for you. You treat me like a fool. Don't do that. Lance, I won't rip you off or stab you in the back, okay? Just take it easy. This is tough enough without you getting all emotional on me. Trust me. Do you hear me? Do you hear me? I hear you, Tommy. But I can't take this much more. Lance, don't be like this. Now I'm warning you. Do you hear me? Just relax. Take a few days off, okay? I'll talk to you. 
Ooh, we have some tension here between Tommy and Lance. It seems even with Ricardo Diaz out of the picture, things are kind of building up between these two, so ooh, yeah, we'll see what happens there. But anyway, that completes this part. In the next part, we will be completing the next mission for the Versetti Estate called Copland. So until then, I will see you next time. Yeah.